Fire's burning good? Very good. Very Safe, Chucky Hilo. Today, in closing, I'd like for us to pray for the safe journey and return of our very own Conrad Champlin, Orrin Ames, and Jux Jonas. But first, we shall have a few words from Conrad. Conrad. Thank you. Well, on behalf of myself, Reverend Bellows, and Pastor Spencer, we'd like to thank you for your help in raising the money for the Bibles that are to be flown to Coahuila, Mexico. Residents there could not ask for a more gracious gift. Can I hear an amen? Amen! I'm also sure that my wife will be happy to get me out of the house for a while. So I will say adios, my friends, and most importantly, vaya con Dios. Go with God, because we certainly will. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good to see you, too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi, guys. How are you? So you boys have everything you need? Yes, sir. Oren's picking up the Bibles. We should be good to go. So how's Jux doing? He's all right. It'll be good for him to get out, get some fresh air. Clear his head. I love you, Daddy. Yeah. Hey, man, where are you? I'll be right there. Six. Seven. 
yet? Right. All right, tell me if you heard this one. No, no sé, señor Ames. Yeah, hold on, I haven't started yet. Okay, it's a, it's a, you know, a joke. A yoke. Ah, un yoke. Yeah, yeah, yoke, <laughs> un yoke, right, okay. A man, peacock, walk into a bar. The, <laughs> see, man, oh, I haven't told the punchline yet. Hold on, right? You know, see, man, this is why I can't tell you jokes, because you laugh the entire time. You have no idea what I'm saying. You're cracking up. You drive me crazy, Juan. I'm telling you, man. Look, will you do me a favor? When I get back, and remind me to get you some English lessons, okay? English? Do that? Yeah, English, right? Thank you. Excellent. Just in there. Oh, lo siento, señor Ames. That's okay. No harm done. Pio. No. No dinero, señor Ames. It's okay. It's on me. It's in English. Read it. It's good. It's a good book. Read it. In fact, they call it the good book. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Try it. Try. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Here, take this. Take this. Take this. Dude, how can you not like my peacock joke? Everybody likes it. The joke's not that funny, okay? Come on, give me that box. All right, this is the last one. All right, here he is. Nice bike. Is that a new bike? I was thinking about getting a bike. What do you think? Jax, what's up? Hey, buddy. You all right? I'm good. Fort Worth Center, Cherokee 92 Whiskey, level at 8,500. So how long is it going to take for us to get there? About two hours. You know, everybody really misses you at church, Jux. Yeah. Just think about coming back, man. She's in all our hearts, Jux. I'm sure she'll appreciate that. That's right, Pastor. The boys are on their way. The entire parish appreciates the great service that they're doing. God bless them. Well, thank you, Pastor, and God bless. Bye-bye, Alicia. Out. Shakahilu. Your God book will not make it. No, no, no. Our God. It will not make it. It will be here. Santana. matter, Jux? We lost oil pressure. No, oil pressure. What, is that? what does that mean? No, that's, a good, that's not a good thing. It means we're putting her down. This isn't good. Forward center, Mayday, Mayday, 92 Whiskey. Houston center, Mayday, Mayday, 92 Whiskey. Mayday, Mayday! Guys, tighten your seatbelts. Okay. It's tight. Oh! 
Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm never flying ever, 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 ever again. Mama! This doesn't even look like the planet Earth, man. What's wrong with the plane? We're out of oil. Where, 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 where do we come down? That beats me. There's gotta be a town around here somewhere. Well, I didn't see any towns around here somewhere. I just saw my life pass before my eyes. What are we gonna do? Start walking. Which way? Higher ground. That's a good idea. Higher ground, better vantage point. Maybe we'll see people or a house or something. for hours. You got a better suggestion, Oren? Come on, guys. Come on, Oren. Out of sky. Wait, wait, did you hear that, Bill? That means there's a town nearby. Uh, all right, it's our lucky day. If you call crashing in the desert our lucky day, it is. Let's go. step back about a hundred years because I'm pretty sure I just saw Laura Ingalls walk by. Excuse me, sir, could you tell us where a payphone is? Sheriff, so we can get out of here. Okay, let's get something to drink, too. I feel like I've been walking through the desert. <laughs> right here. Get it? Got it.
Howdy. Howdy back. I'll have an iced tea. I'll have a beer, please. This is a dry county, sir. I'll have what he's having. You know, I think I'll have a Dr. Pepper. I think that'd be great. Thank you. And a phone, ma'am. Sorry, we have no phones. You have no phones in the whole city area the, of the town? Look, let's just go find an auto parts store somewhere around here, get what we need to fix the plane, and get out of here. You're out of luck there, too. Okay, what, what kind of a freak town is this, man? There's no auto parts store, there's no cars. The people stare at you when you walk into the room. I reckon you boys will soon find out. Well, I believe this is yours. Hey, this, this is one of our Bibles. So, so you know that our plane went down. Sir, we need to contact our families so they don't worry. Maybe get somebody out here to pick us up. Yeah, or if you have one of those rental car places, that'd be good. Nope, no car rental. How about a shortwave radio? Yeah, the church one. Excuse me. Go down the street to Bailey Road, go left to number 65, ask for Diana. She'll take you to the radio. Okay, I guess we'll talk to you later then. It stings, Jax. That's a shame. A little odd, too. Why's that? There's no bell in the tower. Yeah, hello. There's got to be a bell around here somewhere. We all heard it. Let's go. Okay, creepy kids. Come on, Dorothy. Bailey Road. Hi. Hi. This is going to sound a little bit odd, but a man told us you could take us to where there's a shortwave radio. Yeah. OK. Let me get my keys. The game's over. Okay. Yeah. This is my son, Jeremy. Hey, buddy. How's it going? We really do appreciate the drive, man. My name is Diana. Okay. Well, then, thank you, Diana. They have arrived, as was written. Yes. Let no brother lay hands upon them. I understand. The woman, Diana, takes them to the home of Matthew. Matthew knows of the way. 
Days past are approaching. Yes, Joshua. These agents of redemption shall fall, and all shall see the God of the Nazarene wastes the lambs of his flock, so that we may succeed in these glorious days, and my essence shall be revered. Didn't make it so. So, Jeremy, do you like sports? No. Okay, excellent. Very good. Who lives here? Name's Matthew. Uh, I'm Conrad Chaplin. This is Chuck Jonas and Warren Ames. Jeremy, why don't you go water old Nick? Diana, it's always a pleasure. You too, Matthew. So, do you have a short wave? Come on, follow me. I'll wait here. There you go. Thank you very much. happen to have a beer here, would you? Well, uh, maybe I can dig up one. This thing's like 500 years old, man. Let's see what we got. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh. yeah, that's good. Oh, I was dying for one of these. Well, thank God I found one. Alicia, are you there? Alicia, come in. Alicia, do you read? Hey, Conrad. Hey, baby. Uh, uh, we're okay. Um, our, our plane went down, but I repeat, we're okay. Well, where are you now? Uh, honey, everybody's fine. We're in a town called Ceres. There's absolutely nothing here, though. There, no phones, just, just this radio. What do you need me to do? Baby, I need you to send somebody to pick us up. Do you read? Conrad? Alicia? Alicia, are you there? Are you there? Come in. Alicia, come in. Matthew, shortwave went dead. Did you get to say what you had to say? Yeah, I think so. I, I told her the name of the town. She should be able to find us now. And thank goodness. I was beginning to think we were never going to get out of here. So you're a pessimist, Oren. No, actually, I'm an optimist. I'm very optimistic. Let me guess. You have your fears. But you're optimistic everything will be fine. Well, fears, yeah, like all men. Optimistic, yeah. Matthew, I am. Why are you so optimistic? Faith. Matthew, I have faith. Faith? I like that. Well, it's better than that. I don't know, Orrin. You tell me. Nothing's better than that. Because faith is being sure of what we hoped for and certain of what we don't see. I love that verse. Let me get some air. Jeremy, come on. Yes, sir, Ceres, Texas. What do you mean there is no serious Texas? I was just talking to my husband, and that's where he said he was. No, I don't have the flight plan. Okay, that sounds good. Just please let me know what you find out. Thank you. Pastor Spencer. Pastor, 
Please, Senora Alicia, talk with me. She say the men had trouble, but they're okay. Oh, thank heaven. Did she say where they were? She say Ceres. I have heard of this place. They're not okay. Where is it? Not aware of what? Puerta de la Santana. A gateway to hell, Pastor. I'll make sure they get to the hotel. Diana, how wonderful to see you. Hello, Ben. These men are interested in some lodging. This is Conrad, Jux, and... Oren. And Oren. Four names, sir. A pleasure. But just sign in. I'm terrible with names. You're lucky. This is our slow season. Three nice rooms upstairs. I'm starving. You guys want to get something to eat? You get something later. I'm with Jax. I think I'll do the same. What am I traveling with the Golden Girls? Come on, let's get something to eat. You ladies. Goodbye. The Matthew's an interesting guy. Yeah, he is. Thank you for the candy. You're welcome. You look like my dad. Oh, yeah? But he's dead. Oh, I'm sorry. From what? He killed himself. What's your name? Lyric. That's a pretty name. My name's Jux. That's a funny name. Grass is green and skies are blue. I love my daddy and my mom. My daughter used to sing that song. Why is she? She died. Here, let me give you a hand. And so the peacock says, Oh, yeah, I know. My wife was in here earlier. 
<laughs> okay. All right. See, you guys are unbelievable. Seriously. All right, listen to me carefully. The peacock says... The peacock says it. Oh, the peacock said it. The peacock says it. Peacock? Peacock? Oh, the, the peacock said it. Exactly. It's good, right? It's funny. Good afternoon. Afternoon? It sure is something. You ever think about rebuilding it? Fixing it up a bit? Why would anybody want to do that? Church of the children, that's nice. Children are special to us in these parts. Uh, I think they're special in all parts. Hi. What's your name? Emily. Well, hello, Emily. Nice to meet you. Hey, let's go. Hey, is there a bell around here? I could have sworn I heard a bell, a church bell, I think. No bells here, friend. Thanks anyway. What was your daughter's name? Her name was Amy. Was she pretty? Yeah, she was pretty just like you, Larry. <laughs> Be careful. Oh, just a bit far. <laughs> Are you okay? Thank you. Larry! I told you to be home for supper, girl. I'm sorry, I didn't know she needed to be home. That's okay, friend. She's my niece. Brant and I worry about her. Come, girl. Ow! Hey, there's no need for that. Mind yourself, friend. Jex is my friend, not yours. Don't sass me, girl. Ah! Hey! <laughs> Be good, please, Uncle Alexander. Let him go. Yes, you in the front. Franklin, right? Right. What are you doing here, Dallas? Well, I'm glad you asked, Franklin. I sell sporting goods. You want to play soccer? I'll fill your locker. Baseball? Give me a call. Football? I support the Texas pastime, y'all. <laughs> Okay. You guys know football? Passing, running, all that good stuff? No? Hey. Uh, Jux, you all right? Oh, sh what happened? Oh, I don't know. Man, who was that guy? I don't know. I just saw you laying here. Come on. Get you inside. You all right? You know, let me sit down for a second. Oh. So who did this to you? I don't know. You know, I'm talking to this girl. Hey, you guys. I just talked to some people in town. I told them my peacock joke. I was hysterical. I killed. Very funny. What's the matter? What happened to you? I met somebody who hasn't heard your peacock joke. One thing's for sure, there's some strange people around here. All right, so, this little girl. Lyric. Wait a minute, what does this have to do with my joke? You know what? I had this guy lift me up off the ground with one hand. One hand. You what? Lifted you off the ground? I, I mean, he threw me like a rag doll. Wait a minute, how is that possible, I one hand? I don't know. Look, I'm going to go upstairs and get some rest. All right. Strength and rage, I guess. Mm -hmm. Blair, why don't we just ask Diana if we can borrow her car? You know, we can get out of here. But she's we're gonna give it back, right? No, I think it's best to stay put. I mean, we have no way of contacting Alicia or anybody else. <sighs> okay. Okay. I know. What? I know of Ceres. The time has come to truly be the bequeathed with the ecstasy of our reign. Night has fallen, and sweet darkness calls to you, my lost brothers. 
show these Christ's pets the power they must face. Arise and be counted. Arise and cast my will. How's your head? That's better. I didn't get any sleep. I heard those strange noises again last night. I heard the same thing. That's weird. Well, hopefully we're getting out of here soon. Come on! I slept so good. I'm starving. You want to get something to eat? Would you meet me at my house in about an hour? Sure. Is everything okay? I'll see you there. What was that all about? Guess we'll find out. Hey, Oren. Hey, Franklin. How's it going? Th that game of football you talked about sounds fun. I, I would like to play some time. Well, it is fun. You should get a team together here in Cirrus. I get you equipped, you go out and take on the state. How about that? All right, we'll talk about it after breakfast, okay? All right. Bacon looks good. What? Football? Oh, they wanted to know about it. Don't you think they have enough on their plate than to be worrying about football? Well, it might be fun for the creepy kids. Well, how? You can't touch them. They won't allow that. You want to end up, like, getting thrown like Jux for touching... What was her name? Lyric. Demons have been delivered to us. Their blood, their sacrifice will ensure us glory. The children must not be touched by them. I would not risk their purity, their innocence, and being tarnished by the Holy Spirit. You were touched by the one named Chuck's lyric. I am not of consequence. You are, my dear, a child. Chuck's will turn. Oh. Tell me of Alexander. Uncle Alexander had a little accident. hungry? Are you hungry? Hmm? 
Hello, Diana. Meredith, you startled me. I apologize. Where is the boy? He's out playing. Good. It is good for the child to play now. For soon his undertaking will be quite great. You must be very proud. I am proud. As am I. All right, this place is really starting to freak me out. Okay, creepy. Well, Orrin seems to be adapting pretty well to it. Orrin thinks he's on vacation. Orrin is in another world. What is going on here? We are being constantly watched. There's no phones. We hardly ever see any cars. And the kids? They're very protective of everything. We got to get out of this town. Hey, that's it. I'm getting out of here. I want you to take Jeremy with you when you go. Why would you want us to take your child? I can't explain much, but he he's in great danger if he stays here. You wouldn't understand. Try us. The people here, they're different. Oh, no kidding. You'll have to excuse my buddy here, okay? We're just, we're, we're tired. A force holds this town. A force that's unholy. What do you mean, like a spiritual force? There's not much church influence here, is there? <laughs> There's a church. It's just not what you're used to. And if there's a God, he's not here. The children, just please, please take him with you. Do they hurt the children? They take away their souls. Their souls? Why don't you just leave? I can't. I can't. If, if we leave, they'll kill us both. I can be tracked out there. Trust me, they exist everywhere. Why didn't you tell us this when we were at Matthew's house? I couldn't. We were being watched. By who? By Jeremy. We need to go find Oren. He said he was probably going to swing by the store. up with you. Jax, are you okay? Uncle Alexander's a bad man. I told on him. You did? What are you kids playing? Just a game. Lyric, it's your turn to be called before the Punisher. Before the who? Young Jimmy's sure going up fast, Mrs. Taylor. Yes, he is. Something I can help you with? 
Yeah, just this. Would that be all? This two. Two of them. Thank you. Thank you, mister. My pleasure. All right, high five. Come away. Can I ask you a question, sir? Sure, what's on your mind? Why such strange behavior whenever you talk to the children in this town? Listen here, friend. Let me give you a little advice. OK. I wouldn't go around asking questions that you really don't want to know the answer to. You have a good day now. Yeah, you too. Freaky, man. Touch the child. I would never let that happen, Emeritus. Hmm. Okay, just met another creepy kid. The peacock. Peacock. Hey, buddy. Peacock. What's that all about? You know my joke. The peacock joke. Lauren, <sighs> they don't get your joke. All right, we need to talk. Now we need to get out of here. Chocolate? That's strange, guys. All these people are drones. And if what Diana told us is true, the powers that be around this town, if they decide they want to get rid of us, they'll get rid of us. She's getting a little dramatic. They don't get your damn joke, Oren. All right, guys, enough. Our families will be here soon. We just got to keep our cool until then. Look at Franklin out there trying to be Troy Aikman. Hey, Franklin! I'm gonna go help him out. Come on, let's go. Hi. I'm glad you came to see the game of football. The children are laughing. I, I hope I'm teaching them right. Well, you have the right attitude, and that's most important. Franklin, this is my friend Conrad. He knows the game of football better than anybody I know. He's gonna help you out, give you some tips, okay? Okay. Yes, I am. Ha. Nice to meet you, Franklin. Hi. Why don't you toss me that ball? Okay. Let's teach the kids some fundamentals, all right? First of all, you, uh... Well, you need a football. This is a basketball. It's true. Are you okay? Eric, what's the matter? It stings, Jax. Oh, let me take a look. It's a splinter. It stings. I could go away. Oh, let's see if we can get that out of there. All better? I love you, Jax. Excuse me. Excuse me. You three wouldn't be the three that crashed the plane, would you? Yes, sir, that would be us. Oh, thank goodness you're all right. I was out of town. I just heard. I was going to... I'm terribly sorry. My name is Joshua Ravel. I'm what you might call the mayor of this town. Oh, Mr. Ravel, it's a very interesting town. Joshua, please. Hey. <laughs> and yes, our town folk do have a bit of quietness about them. You're not the first visitors to have noticed that. Why, it was only last year that we had the 21st County Rodeo, and some kids were spreading the word that we were some sort of devil worshipers. You know, kind of off the cuff and all, don't you think? Uh, we did hear something. <laughs> well, I mean, even though we are not known for our religious exploits, we do have a town fraternal organization. We do the whole cloak tradition. <laughs> One might misconstrue. I can see how that can happen. 
We're, we're more of a charity group. We're basically concerned with the youth of our community. We've seen that. You know, speaking of community, we're having a festival tonight at the town center hall. We like to call it a, a harvest festival. It's, it's kind of a fun party. We'd love for you to come, meet some of the people, see for yourself. I don't know. I mean, we're waiting to get picked up. Well, hey, if they don't show up, starts at 7. Love to see you there. Thank you. Great, great, great. Oh, and I'm really glad you guys are okay. Bye. Nice guy, huh? Guys, I'm telling you, there's no way they're gonna make it tonight. We got no TV, we got no phone, I'm so bored. Let's, let's go to that festival, Delio. That sounds like fun. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Please? Let's do it. Come on. Come on. Let me put on my shoes. Excelente. Ah, friends! So happy you were able to make it. Would you like to join us for some refreshments? Please. We want you to drink, eat, and enjoy. Please. Looks good, thanks. Citizens of Ceres. Our out-of-town guest, gentlemen, welcome to the Ceres Harvest Festival. Your presence is our pleasure. Here, 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 here. Tonight we have a special treat. Our own Ceres Choir will perform the Sowing Seed. Children, if you please. Good punch. This is weird music. I like it. Yeah. Why are you alright? Feel weird. What's in this punch? Nobody's drinking the punch.
I see Maria and baby Gabriel. See how they run? See how they die. Authority in Jesus' name, I am free. I am free. I am free. Where are we? We gotta get out of here. Boys look terrible. Oh, you have no idea. I believe I do. Come on, Matthew, can you open the door? I better go talk to them. No, 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 Matthew, you can't go out there. Go inside. The door's locked. Not anymore. Let's go. Matthew, do not stand in the way of our destiny. Your destiny ends at my property line, Joshua. The one you cannot cross. I care nothing about your pathetic line. What are they saying? I don't know. They belong to us. It is written. It is written. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, my God. Believe me. What is written will come to pass. It just depends on whose book gives us tomorrow. We will have their souls. We shall see, Joshua. Who is this guy? Matthew, what happened? They were trespassing. And? I told them to leave. What, and that's it? Well, I could have asked them to take out the trash, but I don't think they would have done it. You 
You guys better get some rest. It's gonna be a long day. Do you know that? I'm a watcher. A watcher? A watcher of what? Mankind. You have been chosen. That's why your plane was forced to land. Listen to me, Jux. The souls of this town depend on it. What are you doing? It's time. Matthew, how are we gonna get out of here? We don't. What do you mean, we don't? We're here for a reason. Reason? Jocks, man, what's the reason? To save the children and cleanse the town. I think last night messed up your head, man. Jux speaks the truth. There is a plan. A divine epiphany. Having to do with the children? Yes, Conrad. The evil seed was planted 180 years ago. This town wasn't always known as Ceres, Texas. It was once called St. Augustine. St. Augustine was a peaceful little town filled with faith. until the evil one arrived and brought his demons of darkness. A young boy was chosen.
Emeritus was that boy. He was promised eternal life. Oh my God. Because that evil deed was committed by an innocent child, evil took root. Emeritus became his messenger and spread it to the other children and their children's children and so on through the years. What spread? The mark. Why a mark? The mark shows that hell has absorbed their souls. Well, why the children? They chose the age of 12 for the ritual because that was the age of Emeritus when he received his calling. Matthew. Calling for what? He wants to rule the world. Who does, Emeritus? No, as I said, Emeritus is just his messenger. Lucifer. Matthew! Matthew, they took us. They've taken Jeremy. They're taking all the children. Please, please. They're preparing him for ritual. I need your help. Please, they said that they would harm my son if I helped you. Diana, there's nothing I can do. You need to go. No, please, you have to help him. I can't. Now go. Go. It's the eve of man's Armageddon. A time of great change. Tonight, Emeritus consecrates a new heir. His son, Jeremy. Pastor Bellows, come in, please. Pastor Bellows, come in, please. This is Pastor Bellows. Go ahead. What do you mean, Matthew? Are you saying it's up to us to save them? That's exactly what I'm saying. And you must put on the full armor of God to protect yourself from the power of Lucifer. I don't follow. Maybe I don't want to follow. Well, Lauren, as man is God's greatest creation, so is man God's greatest love. And to be worthy of that love, man must undo the mistakes that they've created for themselves. Redemption. It is the common man who is redeemed by the selfless act of Jesus Christ. Are we the common man? That's up to you, Jux, and you must decide. What do you guys think? I can't believe this is happening. That's what I think. Well, it is happening. And we gotta deal with it now. How are we supposed to deal with it? We almost got killed last night. I think this is the reason we're supposed to be here. We'll do it, Matthew. Good. Now, Matthew, how can you know all this? Who are you? I'm a watcher, a keeper of records. I think you prefer to call us angels. Oh, oh. you're an angel? Yes, Orn. We come in many forms. Well, then you can help us. No, it's not my battle to fight, nor should it be. Matthew, will we die? Only God knows. Jux is mine. I believe that's up to Jux. He's weak, old man, and he loves me. Sketch a little road before I take a switch to you. <laughs> We will take their souls tonight, Matthew. You say that every time, Joshua. <laughs> we have had many battles, you and I. Yes, we have. Does it bother you, Joshua, that you want so few?
Matthews kept his word and delivered you. Make way for the seekers of the bell, for it is they who will deliver the power to your offspring. Bear witness, brothers and sisters, for you shall truly inherit the earth. Tonight, will be the greatest of all age. Please, please help us. Help us save your children. Your children will die tonight. Your own children will lose their souls. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Remember the trickery of Lucifer. He will do and say anything to break your will. God loves you. Stay strong. Don't listen to him, Jax. God took your Amy away from you, but he can't take me away. Jax, don't. What is written will come to pass. Don't be afraid, Jax. We'll be together forever. Don't let her fool you. Fight it. Fight it. <laughs> Jax, don't. It is written. Don't do it. Wake up, man. If you don't leave him alone, you're going to make me angry. You are truly welcome, my brother. Come before your master. Open yourselves before our god, Lucifer. He is not our god. Realize your destiny within. Our destiny is to be with our lord. We offer redemption. <laughs> Redeemers, you are. Matthew has deceived you. More importantly, the god of the Nazarene has deceived you. The Dark One welcomes you, one way or another. We will kneel only before the Risen Lord. Kneel! I can't move! Faith, Lord, I keep the faith in the one true God. As the life to the servants has been, the nectar of the bearer shall mock the beings of the wise. Jeremy, my son, come forward. No. No. Bestow the mark of the servant. No. No. But, no. Oh, you may fight, Diana. All I ask for is peace. Come, come. Let the child see your obedience. I shall give him power far beyond what the womb could bestow. Nothing shall impede what is to be. 
Come, my son. Receive your gift. Come! Your blood will give strength to servitude and mock the god that has forsaken you. Do you renounce your god? My god lives. Now! I heard them. I heard the bells tonight. Yes. Yes, you have. I choose the little girl. You may come forward, Jax. Come. Are you willing to serve your master? Yes. I'm pleased. Shed the blood of the innocent. That you, Jux, may see how their holy master lets them die. Expose the weakness of the redeemers. And we will have everlasting power Jux, please. in the eyes of the real master. Jux. Please. Are you willing to die for your god? Please. Are you willing to die for your god? Yes. Jocks, please. How about you? I am willing to die for my god. How about you? Are you willing to die for your god? I thought you chose a little girl. No, Lyric. I choose my daughter Amy, who represents the purity within all of these children. Kill your tormentor, Jux. Lyric, this is not to be. Jux, don't do it, Jux. Don't kill. I am to deliver the Redeemer to the Master. It belongs to me. Yeah. Hey, man, where are you? I'll be right there. I said I'm on my way. Welcome home, Daddy. Emeritus, oh, poor Emeritus. 
What a child. Such a small price to pay for you. A soul who represents the prophecy of our Armageddon. Living within these pathetic, guilt-ridden walls. Here. Try it again. Free your soul. This ends with me. Be not your God. No. He lives within me. And he can live within you, too. Silence! Why do you call upon your own torture? Your God forsakes you. A loving father would never forsake. Faithful son. <sighs> Awaken, Jux. You have done well. Faith knows where love lives. The children. Did the children live? Yes, they live. A town reborn. I didn't make it. I'm dead. Son, you've never been more alive. And soon you're gonna see the most glorious sight. But first, I thought you might need a guide. Baby. Baby. I missed you so much. This is not over, Matthew. I know it's not over, Joshua. Until God decides it's over.
you can know.